Atlanta City Council limits how many people can comment at its meetings. It comes after a recent meeting lasted more than 24 hours due to thousands of comments. CBS 46's Beth Yates examines at all of the pros and the cons of this brand new ordinance. Yes, the city received more than 17 hours of public comment, mostly on the Richard Brooks bill. And after being overwhelmed, they said no more. I'm calling in to say that I strongly support the Richard Brooks bill. I do not want the police defunded. One after the other, Atlanta residents left public comments for city council members. There was a total of 1,251 messages, adding up to more than 17 hours. People to be calling now for public comment for committees a week from now. And to really try to organize all of that an hour before the meeting it has put some strain on our resources. Council Staff Director Theo Pace says their two-man IT department has been overwhelmed. And with a 9-6 to six vote, the group agreed to no longer allow public comments up to an hour before the meeting and instead will only accept comments from 4-7 to seven the day before the meeting. And comments that are not about a topic being considered for a vote won't be allowed. This resolution really is meant to make sure that our city staff have the time to adequately um, prepare. I do not support this legislation for a number of reasons. I believe this limits public comment and it puts in place measures that disenfranchise Resident, we're making an immediate decision for something that's going to impact the public without allowing them the opportunity to weigh in on it. The changes to the public comment process will go into effect for the next city council meeting. Bobeth Yates, CBS 46 News.